Welcome. Welcome to Reclaiming Our Power Health Equity, where we discuss how reforming and transforming healthcare and healthcare systems is not an individual concern, but a collective one. My mom was on Medicaid. I was a caregiver for my mother and my great grandmother who also relied on Medicaid and Medicare. So for me, this fight is personal. And I'm curious, do you have a story about Medicaid or Medicare that helped your family access the care you needed? Join the conversation in the comments, jot it down. We wanna hear your stories. It is my pleasure to introduce three incredible forces in the fight for equitable healthcare access. First is the Ohio Organizing Collaborative with a focus on increasing Medicaid coverage and advocating for doula care under Medicaid. They've been instrumental in securing essential health resources for those who need it most, and also to ensure that our children in Ohio get the coverage that they need. Please welcome Ohio Organizing Collaborative's Care Economy Organizing Director, Tammy Lunen. I think one of the major things that we're finding um, as we look at the data in the surveys is that a lot of women have had some type of like negative experience um, where they felt like, you know, they haven't been listened to. That comes up a lot, <laughs> unfortunately. That comes up a lot. I have a story around that. Next, we welcome an organization deeply committed to alleviating the burden of medical debt in low-income communities. A testament to their dedication, Central Florida Jobs with Justice just secured $4.5 million for residents in Orange County. $4.5 million, y'all. For those who are struggling under the weight of healthcare costs, give a warm welcome to their programs manager, Samuel Delgado. This is you know, working class members of, of our community, uh, residents of Orange County, uh, who are gonna qualify for this relief. Uh, so, you know, we're real excited to see it uh, finally go through. We wouldn't have been able to do really any of this without, um, you know, impacted community members uh, and people who are familiar with the issue and who see, um, you know, the need for it in, in their day-to-day -day lives. And so, uh, we're lucky to be able to bring one of those leaders with us uh, to share uh, their perspective. I've been in healthcare for over a decade, and considering I do work in the pharmaceutical side of the healthcare industry, watching patients struggle to access care has been a non-stop event for me, unfortunately. And I was tapped into this project through the community building and grassroots organizing of Central Florida Jobs with Justice. And I'm very honored to be here, thank you. And our partners in Indiana, Hoosier Action, they are on the heels of another huge win, protecting healthcare coverage for vulnerable communities, particularly those who rely on Medicaid. Their communications and policy director, Tracy Hutchins Goetz. In 2024, the judge finally uh, ruled on the case and he ruled in our favor. We organized people during the pandemic to make federal public comments. And those federal public comments on the program were cited by the judge in his ruling as one of the justifications for why this policy needed to end. It's